Is generosity in business possible? According to the economic books, the answer should be no, it's not. Traditional economic models tell us that business has to be competitive. And the more you give, the less you gain. They also teach this at the bespoke university of the street. However, my personal experience has taught me that it's not only possible, but in a certain way, it could be the key to success. And today, I'm going to tell you my story. I studied economics in Milan, and I started working in bespoke fashion publishing houses. I really loved my job, because, but <laughs> because of family priorities, I moved to another country, and I had to leave. I hoped that I would find stability. But then, the following year, I moved again to another country and left my job for the second time. I suddenly realized I could not settle in a profession. I think it was a typical female situation which is faced by many women in the world. I'm sure you understand what I mean. So I started thinking of doing something on my own. I started with my passion. I'd always been interested in fashion and image. And I loved the idea of helping other people by making them feel better in the way they look. For these reasons, I decided to take a course of image consulting in London. Because at that time, in Italy, image consulting barely existed. Things today are different, of course. And my time in London was such a great experience on many levels and gave me the motivation I needed. Then I tried to start my own business. But the big challenge was raising awareness about the idea because it was very new in Italy. It was extremely difficult, but social media helped me to spread the word on image consulting with low capital costs. So, little by little, I established my business. After a while, I noticed that many of my clients were interested in doing the same as I was doing. Most of them had a similar personal story to mine and wanted to restart their professional lives. What's more, in that period, I taught short, short courses for other organizations, and I discovered that I really liked teaching. So, I decided to start training other women who wanted to be image consultants like me. However, my friends and family thought I was crazy, because training other people could mean future competition. But in that decision, I saw an opportunity to grow my business and to enable other women to restart their lives. And this was when the magic happened. Because it turned out that I did the right thing. In fact, it was the best thing I could have done. Within a couple of years, I was, a, I was able to establish the first image consulting institute in Italy. As the business developed, 
I started using Instagram in a different way. And this leads me to another example of generosity in business. I started posting educational content, and once again, my friends and family thought I was crazy because I was giving away my professional knowledge and experience. What's more, many people were in fact copying my content. But nobody could see what I was seeing. Once more, I saw an opportunity to raise awareness in a small niche market. And again, I was right. Because in a few years, my followers grew from a few hundred to 300,000. And the image consultant consulting became a flourishing market in Italy. I was really happy. For me, of course, but also for anyone who wanted to work in this field. They would not face the challenging I had faced when I started. They wouldn't need to struggle in raising awareness about the idea because I already done it for myself and for them. And thanks to Instagram, my reputation grew more and more. And the publishing house asked me to write a book, which I called Armochromia. And here we come to the third example of generosity in business. This time, the worries came from my students. They feared that we we're going to lose their clients. Many of them said, if people, if people read this manual, they won't need a consultancy. But they were wrong, because a book is not a consultancy. Rather, the book was a huge opportunity for everyone to generate more interest in this field. The book became an Amazon bestseller and spread the word further. It has now been translated in Dutch and Korean. As a result, the number of students grew for me, from a few dozen to a few thousand per year, and clients' lists grew for the consultants. It was a win-win situation. My own business got bigger, and my team grew organically. We are all women supporting each other, and this story started with me trying to empower myself, but continues nowadays with the constant empowerment of my students and my team. Today, I'm using my success to spread important values like body positivity, female empowerment, inclusivity, and to engage in many charities' activities. So, the generosity in business has become my personal and professional credo. And I can say it works, not only in my field, but in many other fields, from information technology to scientific community. And this is the reason why I'm here today speaking to you. Generosity brought me here. The modern world of social media and capitalism has a bad reputation, but it doesn't have to be like this. What I want to say is, don't be afraid to be generous. What I have learned is, the more you give, the more you gain.